Real danger is done by millions who just want to survive. The honest men who just want to be left in peace. Those who don't want their little lives disturbed by anything bigger than themselves. Those with no sides and no causes. Our prayer is that God would raise up from this conference Sophie Scholz to speak as a prophetic witness for life and justice. Before we uh, introduce the panel, we're honored uh, to have the patriarch of the charismatic Episcopal Church, uh, Bishop Craig Bates and his wife here. Uh, we're very honored. This is a man who stands strong for life in a clear way. We've worked on, with him in projects all throughout the country, particularly in Washington, D.C. And I wanted to welcome Bishop Bates. Why don't you and your wife stand and let's, let's welcome him. Okay. Welcome. I'm Presbyterian. We never get to wear cool things like that. You know what I mean? It's like, okay. Um, this is on the new media. And I'm more optimistic uh, about the pro-life movement uh, ending abortion now than any time in the 38-year history of our movement. There's lots of reasons why, but one of them is the opportunity that new media gives us. Uh, you know you're old when you say, back in the day, or when I was younger, my, my girls always mock me when I say that. But back in the day when we started, there were only three television networks. That's it, ABC, NBC, and ABC. There was no cable network. There were no, what? CBS. There were no, there was no, See, I'm so old, I'm going into, I'm forgetting things, hi. Um, there was no internet, there was no videos, there were no cell phones. So we had no way to get word out, it's just incredible. When we went to an event, we could have been beaten up and brutalized, it couldn't be filmed, we had no way to mobilize people. Then we got those phones that looked like, um, they were these big things you carry on the, your shoulder. Probably most of you don't remember that. They would have been like 25 years ago. They looked like something from the military. And if you picked it up and talked to your family and said, hi, how are you doing? It cost about $500. <laughs> then we got the, um, some of you might remember these, the Saved by the Bell, Zach Morris, walkie-talkie things. Do you remember those? And man, that was so cool. We're walking with these big, hi, I got my cell phone. It's like this big. It weighs about 20 pounds. Then we got internet. We now have the ability to communicate. Just think, on any given morning, you could be sitting at home in your jammies with your little furry slippers on, with Cheerios all over you like a slob, not even brushing your teeth, talking to millions of people. We saw what Lila did. She went out as an 18-year-old college student and created a national story. And we're going to hear from uh, Jill Stonick and Brian Kemper, who are on the cutting edge. Why am I optimistic? Because we now have the opportunity to tell our story. We have the opportunity to reach million. Every one of you here, Lila talked about reaching, you know, thousands on campus just through your computer and Facebook page. So, first of all, we're going to have a little contest. I love contests using the new media, social networks, whatever, between now and tomorrow night. The person who brings the most people by getting on Facebook and bringing people who maybe wouldn't be coming or you text them or you invite them or tweet them or do whatever you do, you come to us, we verify it. Christian Defense Coalition will give you $100. Okay, $100 prize. Now. I don't have my checkbook with me, so we just thought of this. I thought of this. I'll have to mail it to you. But ask Brian about the check I gave to him one time. But anyway, we're a little bit better off now than we were then. Um, so whoever can bring the most people between now and tomorrow night, we're going to give you. And we have to verify. We have to see the people. Okay? We have to verify that you're bringing people out. Okay? So, we have a great panel, and here's the way the panel discussions will go throughout the remaining of, uh, time of the conference. Uh, each panelist will get up to the podium and speak for 12 minutes, and they'll share, and then when they are done, the next panelist will speak, and then we're going to have a time for 20 minutes of question and answer. It's going to be kind of like a, a 
Christ like Jerry Springer show, okay? We're gonna have the microphone. Jerry, what are you looking at? Okay. Uh, where's the big. Okay, sit down, man! Okay. Um, and so you ask questions, be thinking about them, and we're gonna have somebody out in the audience, and then the panelists will try to uh, help you out. Now, I wanna say this I am a Facebook fiend. I always made fun of Facebook because it was like, hi! I painted my toenails blue today. You know, we, okay. So I never was really into Facebook that much. I've only been on Facebook a year and a half. And, but I lost my passport and I got invited by the King of Morocco to come to Morocco uh, to deal with this issue. And I don't normally get invited by kings of anything to go anywhere, uh, even Burger King. I mean, nowhere, ever, nothing. <laughs> And I couldn't find my passport, so I said, what the heck, I'm gonna get on Facebook. I had maybe like 400 friends then, and I said, friends. I, I don't know who had, they could be in prison for all I know, but anyway, they're not friends. And, and I sent the message out, and my wife looked in one place like five times, and couldn't find the passport, and then she found it. After we asked for prayer. Coincidence, whatever, well, I don't think so. But here's the best part. I was at a wedding two months later, and seven people came up to me who I didn't even know and said, thank God you found your passport. We were praying for you to find your passport. So like, cha-ching, a light went on in my head. And I said, this is something amazing. We see the Arab Spring. Uh, we see all what's going on around the world. So we're gonna hear, so I'm gonna take a lot, you're gonna see me taking pictures. I'm gonna Facebook and please friend me. I'm very open about my Facebook stuff. When I got a colonoscopy, I shared that on Facebook. And, <laughs> I didn't share the colonoscopy, okay? I shared I was going, right? And I'm uh, pretty honest about stuff that I do. My wife, I've had to take, my wife and daughter's about 25 or so, I've had to delete because, well, I just had to delete them. But, um, so I'm gonna be taking a bunch of pictures and then we're gonna Facebook all about the conference. So we're gonna first hear from Jill Stonick from jillstonick.com. She's awesome, a fantastic, we're gonna introduce